Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codextual, aka Hacktual, and today we're going to be talking about a alternative search engine that may be better than DuckDuckGo. Maybe. You think that DuckDuckGo has it going on because it doesn't follow you around with ads, it likes to keep your privacy safe from trackers, you can search privately, and they also give you, you know, privacy tips. Um, well, if we were to introduce private sh oh, if we can bring this down uh it's developed by um pia private internet access which i do uh, affiliates ads at the end of the uh video so just fyi they focus on a static javascript which is in a built-in function in their web coding so it keeps your private, uh, your IP address private. So if I were to look up something and I can choose any country I can search from, um, I don't know, IP address, uh, just, just a random search. If I were to click on it, it would actually show my IP address, but within the web search, it acts as a proxy. So if I were to do a web search, um, if I were to search up the same term, um, IP address was the only thing that I can think of. You can type in whatever keyword, um, but versus with DuckDuckGo and private SH, with DuckDuckGo, it's not really masking your IP address when you were searching for something. With private.sh, it will mask your IP address when you search for something. It doesn't matter what keyword you use. I decided to choose IP address as the keyword. So. Um, it tunnels through um, private SH as a proxy, then it's submitted to Gigablast on their end servers. So they will encrypt uh, using a temporary key to send to and from. So it will send a private key, which is whatever you searched up to that server and from back that server and it used that JavaScript, a uh, static JavaScript code, which is actually kind of pretty smart of how they uh, did all of this. Now, if Dr. Go were to implement this, I think Dr. Go would be the ultimate web browser still. So adding a competitor as a private uh, search engine is actually really good. Uh, competition's always good. Now, um, we can see the steps that it says search query it is encrypted locally onto what your computer using a client side Java that your search term is encrypted using a search provider public key, meaning that the private SH is unable to see what you're searching and only search providers can decrypt that. Um, so which meaning you can de decrypt it yourself. Private IP is stripped away by the uh, private SH proxy. Uh, then the search provider decrypts the query and encrypts the search results, the encrypts the results and return through the private uh, SH proxy, and the results are decrypted locally on your computer. So that's actually pretty kick ass. That's how it works. And I also like how it's like dogging on, like the, the dog is eating the duck and I think that's kind of funny because it's like, hey, you know, uh, giving the middle finger to DuckDuckGo um, to step up their security. But if this is something that you are interested in, maybe private.sh is the way to go. Give it a shot. Search up some stuff. I don't know. I was defaultly getting used to DuckDuckGo instead of like using Google.com. Because I'm always like typing Google.com and I've been having a bad habit of typing Google.com and opening up whatever search result. So I've been using DuckDuckGo more. And now I'm going to have to get in another habit to look up with private.sh. So um, this is another security video about your web search, your web browsing by using a more private search engine. So I hope that you guys could take your privacy more securely. If you guys like the video, drop a like. If you don't like the video, well, it sucks to be you. I don't care. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out my other channel, uh, Hackshul, and uh, which shows more of the darker, edgier side of things. But uh, on the real note, if you didn't like the video, let me know why in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. 
hey, this is an ad for private internet access. You should definitely protect yourself with PIA. I mean, look how cheap it is. If you can't afford for this, then your broke is just as I am trying to do an ad and trying to make bank off of your wallet because it definitely helps support the channel. But not only does PIA helps benefit me, it benefits you ultimately. It gives you a secured VPN, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer. You can just pause the video and look at this features that it comes with. Two things that I particularly like is that it blocks the ads and trackers and malware. And one, it says no traffic logs. See, now there was a US Supreme Court that was trying to subpoena some logs from PIA and PIA is like, hey, we don't have jack crap. And uh, that's what they mean by it. They don't keep any logs. So they have a lot of servers in all of these countries. So why not choose PIA today and help a brother out? Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.